Okay, one of the coins that I really, really enjoy out of this set, this type set of classic commemorative half dollars, is the Delaware. Not so much for the obverse, but it's going to be the reverse. I'm going to show you that in a second. So the, what I have here in my hand is a 1936 Delaware Mint State 67, higher grade. What's nice about some of these coins is you can get high grade Mint States on these, and uh, you can get them for so cheap. I mean, comparably to coins today, it's just, it's amazing. The mintage on these versus the price. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, there it is. That's the reason why I am so into this coin right here. It has a ship on it. I love ships on coins so much. So there you go. I love this one. Uh, the Delaware, the Delaware. Let's go ahead and read a little bit about it in the Red Book of Coins. And there you go. Um, the 1936 Delaware Tercentenary. The 300th anniversary of the landing of the Swedes in Delaware was the occasion for a souvenir issue of half dollars. The colonists landed on the spot that is now Wilmington and established a church, which is the oldest Protestant church in the United States, still used for worship. Their ship, Calamar Nickel, is shown on the reverse of the coin, and the old Swedes church is on the obverse. Designs were chosen from the competition that was won by Carl L. Schmitz. This coin was authorized in 1936, struck in 1937, and dated 1938. How about that, huh? On the reverse and uh, 1936 on the obverse. So that's why there's two different dates, if you notice right here. Um, the obverse is going to have 1936 right there below the church. And on the reverse, you can see 1938 right here in the bottom right-hand corner. So there you go. Uh, the anniversary was celebrated in 1938 in both Sweden and the United States. A two-corona coin was issued in Sweden to commemorate the same event. So there you go. It has a uh, basically a relative over in Sweden right there. So you can get both coins and really, really capitalize on a typeset, I think. So there you go. That is the Delaware Mint State 67 for really cheap. I uh, forget the exact price, but as you can see right here, uh, you start going up in price, and it's, it's really not... I mean, for a 20,000 minted coin, it's not that crazy on price. And here I am able to get a Mint State 67. And I can promise you I didn't pay even that price right there for the 67. So I know that for a fact. Anyways, appreciate you for watching. Let's go on to the next coin in the classic commemorative half dollar journey. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit and I'm gonna start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.